Hi, I'm going to continue working with you on this book by Roald Dahl called The Twits. We're on to the eighth installment of this book. Like I've said several times, the chapters are kind of hard to keep up with because Roald Dahl wasn't into putting numbers on them in this one. Anyways, so we've actually been left in a strange spot. Let me explain. Okay, so the first time we met the Twits, they play, she played a trick on him. She put her eyeball in his beer. And then he puts a frog in her covers. And then she, she puts worms in his spaghetti and he eats them. Ugh. And then he convinces her that she has the terrible strengths or the dreadful strengths. Now, it didn't end with her finding out that he's a liar who's tricking her and she's going to go get revenge on him now, did it? It's not how it ended. It just ended with the last thing it said was that she was feeling trembly and she was shaking. She was so scared by all this because he's got her convinced that there really is something called the dreadful shrinks and she really has it. And so we start off this next chapter and it is called whoop, Mrs. Twit has the shrinks. Now we talked about shrink means something it's smaller. This is and it goes smaller. Okay. And then we talked about how the word gradual means it happens slowly over time. That's how he was able to convince her. That's how he was able to trick her. Because if the if the cane went from only up to her, you know, knee one day and the next day it's up to her shoulder, she would immediately notice and be like, what's going on with my cane? And she would have inspected it better. So um, then we also have, he's very clever, and that's going to be mentioned again, which means smart. So I'm going to start by looking through the pictures, because the pictures give me a good idea about what's going to be happening in this chapter, but so does the title. Like we said, Mrs. Twit has the shrinks. So obviously we're still exploring the same idea for having this, and we're going to see where he takes it in his trick, and if she gets out of it. Maybe she finds out almost immediately and plays another trick on him. Let's see. Okay, so it shows us a picture. First picture I look through and I see is Mr. Twit standing next to Mrs. Twit. And she looks like she sees something scary on the floor, maybe. Or she looks like she's looking at her feet. Look how long her stick is. She looks scared. And he's pointing at her. Oh, I did something. There it is. And he's, oh, come on, Howard. Okay, there we go. And he's pointing at her and he's got his hand up. I wonder what that means. And there she is again. Maybe there's a rat on the floor. Maybe something's making her shrink. Maybe she's about to fall out of the chair. Let's see if there's any more. And alas, those are the only two pictures. So let's start reading. So let's get back to the front page. All right, nope. There I am. Mrs. Twit has the shrinks. As soon as Mr. Twit sat down, Miss... I'm sorry. As soon as Mrs. Twit sat down, Mr. Twit pointed at her and shouted, There you are. You're sitting in your old chair and you shrunk so much that your feet aren't even touching the ground. Mrs. Twit looked down at her feet and by golly, the man was right. Her feet were not touching the ground. I guess is why her feet, she's looking down like that. She's like, my feet aren't touching the ground. Let's see. Mr. Twit, you see, had been just as clever with the chair as he had been with the walking stick. Every night, he'd gone downstairs and stuck a little bit extra on the stick. And he had done the same to the four legs of Mrs. Twit's chair. Just look at you, sitting there in your old, same old chair, he cried. And you've shrunk so much, your feet are dangling in the air. Mrs. Twit went white with fear. You've got the shrinks, cried Mr. Twit, pointing his finger at her like a pistol. You've got the shrinks. <coughs> You've got them badly. You've got the most terrible case of shrinks I've ever seen. Mrs. Twit became so frightened she began to dribble, which means she started to drool. But Mrs. Mr. Twit, still remembering the worms in his spaghetti, didn't feel sorry for her at all. I suppose you know what happens when you get the shrinks, he said. What? gasped Mrs. Twit. What happens? Your head shrinks into your neck. And the neck shrinks into your body. And then your body shrinks into your legs. And your legs shrink into your feet. 
And in the end, there's nothing left, nothing left, except a pair of old shoes and a bundle of old clothes. I can't bear it, cried Mrs. Twit. It's a terrible disease, said Mr. Twit. The worst in the world. How long have I got? said Mrs. Twit. How long before I finish up as a bundle of old clothes and a pair of shoes? Mr. Twit put on a very solemn face. He's being very serious. At the rate you're going, he said, shaking his head sadly. I'd say you know more than, I'd say not more than 10 or 11 days. But isn't there anything we can do? Mrs. Twit cried. There's only one cure for the shrinks, said Mr. Twit. Tell me, cried, she cried. Oh, tell me quickly. We'll have to hurry, said Mr. Twit. I'm ready. I'll hurry. I'll do anything you say, cried Mrs. Twit. You won't last long if you don't, said Mr. Twit, giving another grisly grin. What must I do, cried Mrs. Twit, clutching at her cheeks. What must I do? You've got to be stretched, said Mr. Twit. Now, I think that the author gave us a little bit of forewarning in this chapter of a thing. I'm going to read you back the sentence that tells you where Mrs. Twit made a huge mistake. Tell me, she said. Oh, tell me quickly. We'll have to hurry, said Mr. Twit. And then she hears her mistake. I'm ready. I'll hurry. I'll do anything you say. Now, she's completely forgotten that her and her husband play tricks on each other all the time. And these aren't, these aren't just little tricks. These aren't little fun things to do with your spouse. These are mean things that they're doing to each other. And she's now going to do anything he says. She's forgotten herself in her fright, which I think is what he was trying to do. It's the worst in the world. And we've only got 10 or 11 days. All these things. He was getting her all riled up and scared. And so she's out of her mind completely with fear. And so she is ready to do whatever this man says. The man that she gave worms to in his food. The man that she put her eyeball in the drink. And I'm sure there's been a hundred other things about their marriage. So anyways... That's where we leave off, and we'll see what happens next time, what it means whenever Mr. Twit says, you've got to be stretched. I guess we're going to find out.